Now at four in today's community focus, we're heading out to Taunton talking with the city's new mayor, Shauna O'Connell. She's joining us live via Zoom. Mayor, thanks for taking the time. Great to be here. Thank you. The big news out of Taunton in the last few weeks, the Silver City Galleria is set for demolition. So can you tell us when that is happening and what's next for that land? Sure, uh, that will be happening this month, uh, probably mid month um, if things go as planned. And, uh, we, you know, we're, we're speaking with the developers on what their plan is for the property. It's most likely going to be some type of possibly warehousing, industrial delivery, you know, light, and light industry. Uh, but, you know, the, the mall has been in decline for, for many, many years. It's been a loss of jobs, a loss of revenue for the city. So we are very excited to work with the developers. They want to move along quickly and get something built, create new jobs, new opportunity for our area. And we are going to help them accomplish that. Mayor, Taunton is still considered a high risk community for COVID. So I wanted to check in on where things stand in terms of residents getting vaccinated. How can folks get access to that vaccine? So in Taunton, we have um, a plan in place. Our team has been working around the clock very hard. We actually started yesterday with our first vaccination clinic for those 75 years and older and it, it went great. We're doing another clinic uh, tomorrow, Saturday for 75 years plus, and we have another one scheduled for Tuesday. So we really, we have not been sitting around waiting to be told what to do or for you know the state or the federal government to help us. Our people have been in action and making plans. If people need information, we have a COVID-19 hotline that we have set up and we've had since the beginning of the pandemic. And that's 774-406-5898. Uh, and people can always call the mayor's office. We, like everybody else, we're in the same boat where there is a, a high, high demand for vaccinate, vaccine supply um, and there's not enough supply. So we are working with Brewster Ambulance. We're working with our local Vogue Tech School, Bristol Plymouth in their nursing program and we are setting up our own vaccination sites. And I know you mentioned you're not waiting on the state or the federal government. How do you think the state and Governor Charlie Baker are doing with the vaccine rollout? You know, I think everyone's frustrated. It, it's something that none of us have ever been through before. Uh, you, I believe people care deeply about our state, about our communities and are working to get things done. It's very difficult when there's just not enough supply and there's you know, think about vaccinating the whole entire population. It's a tremendous undertaking and all of the different demographics that you have to get to in your community. There are certain barriers that you have to understand people have. So we've been working very hard with our senior community, for instance, to be have to have a phone line for them because a lot of seniors maybe do not go online. Um, we're working with our housing so that when, when the time comes, we'll be able to go right into housing for people who don't have transportation. So all of those things need to be taken into account. People have been, for the most part, very understanding, especially here in our community. They are thrilled that we've already started vaccinating our seniors and that people are getting appointments. This Saturday, um, we'll be vaccinating over 300 people. We did about 200 yesterday. So we're, we're on target and, and doing well in time. And Mayor, just quickly before I let you go, there was some other news that came out of Taunton earlier this week. The city council voted down a resolution condemning the riot at the U.S. Capitol. Do you think the city council made the right decision there? Well, you know, they, they had a lot of discussion about it and they all had their reasons. And I, I'm not going to criticize people for personal reasons. A lot of people felt that it should have really been a collaboration and they didn't think it was. I gotta tell you, I condemn all violence everywhere against anyone for any reason. And I know that everyone on our city council does as well. We're working hard to bring our community together. I have formed a, uh, a task force called Unite 
And we've been working to reach out to the community to really understand people's needs and to start you know, public outreach and communication and programs so that we are meeting people's needs. We did a community survey and some of the, the top issues that people want us to address are mental health, uh, economic opportunity, equity and education. So we are working on all of those things in our community. I, I think we have a lot of caring, compassionate people here in Taunton, and we wanna make sure that we are a community that listens to people, where people feel safe, and where there is opportunity, no matter who you are, no matter where you come from. Taunton's Mayor Shauna O'Connell, thanks so much. Thank you.